Hello everybody, this is Modern Retro Gamer, and welcome to Stories The Path of Destinies. Uh, this is a game that is coming out either it's already out by the time I upload this, or very soon as of when I'm recording this, for PS4 and PC. I know that much at least. Uh, this is the same cop. This is the same version of the game that released at PAX. Uh, if I sound a bit weird, that's because my laptop is not strong enough to run this, which means I have to run it on my desktop, which is in my living room. And as a result, I'm sitting with my couch on my back, at my back, and my microphone on a stool. So, yeah. I'm a bit further away from the mic than I normally am. All that had been years ago. Let's get into the story. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Oh. Where are you running, rebel? Cord the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Ew. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? <laughs> Laughed the Raven horribly. Far Seems behind him, this is, uh... another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us oh, wow. to the rebel base and we'll spare your life! It cawed. <laughs> the entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the Pillars of Heaven, a sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. Ooh. The rebellion was out of time. Unless Renato could bring, bring a game changer. game changer. Maybe he could. Huh. Renato had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper, the legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. That sounds very Surely impressive. a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him. Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lapino or the Sky Ripper. Okay, so this is the um, kind of signature thing of stories. Uh, there's going to be two... We have two options here. Either build the Sky Ripper, the rebellion was out of time, and Reynardo needed a game changer. An ancient artifact that defeated the lost gods would indeed be a game changer. Though it was split into two pieces many years ago, Reynardo could rebuild it by first getting its armature. That's a very good thing, but at the same time, you can't make new old friends. The rebellion was out of time, and Reynardo needed a game changer. Even though Lapino wasn't what anyone would consider a game changer, he could come up with some harebrained schemes. Maybe rescuing him was worth it. And, um, I think that's what we're going to go with. Ah, uh, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. Oh. The Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Ah, Mike. My mic fell down. Must secure a microphone during loading screen. <laughs> uh. Anywho, we're gonna get into gameplay very quickly. My frame rate is jumping all over the place. Uh. Here we go. Had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But Ed, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had had everybody fled the ravens? Right, so this is Reynardo. He has these like super dash ability thing. He has a hook shot. I mean the terror of the sandcastles, but he was too. And we have a narrator who keeps talking. We have multiple swords. We have a fire sword. Check. Pointy? Check. Flexible. 
check. What else do you need in a sword? Yeah. Uh, he's two swords. Uh, he has a flame sword that has a special ability that will allow him to surround himself in fire, so any opponents that are right next to him will get burned. And he has the hero sword, which currently doesn't have any special abilities. Nice. Sword crafting stuff. Okay, sword. I'm down for some sword crafting stuff. We can use them on our hero sword. Let's make it look badass, and also allows it to heal oneself. His trusty old sword was always a little better when he sharpened it. Yeah, so we have the hero sword, which is presumably the sword we start out with in the game. The firestorm, the winter thorn, and the void blade. Uh, these three, I'd say, come at a later point in the game. Because, th because this is a demo that was made for PAX, it's actually given us a bit of a power boost. We don't actually start out with the hook blade, or hook shot, or whatever you're supposed to call it. Don't get ahead of yourself, lad. As you can see, if we use the altar, we're actually level 7. The hook is a skill that we learn. The dash is a skill that we learn. Dash through enemies is a skill we learn. Uh, we have a health boost. We have a stamina boost, which presumably allows us to do more dashes. Um, is this a bad thing? No, because that isn't something that takes a long time to get up to in skill, or... Uh, it doesn't take many fights to get up to that level. And combat in this game mostly revolves around countering. This makes it very fun just to mess with the opponents. See, that was a perfect fight. The had taken the town. Renato had seen it was that quick. Like this. It was a button All the mash. people taken away to be sacrificed in the Emperor's secret rituals. Renato hoped the people were just hiding. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go down here. We don't wanna, we don't wanna risk anything. Uh, cause who knows what's around here. Okay, that looks like some kind of sentry, so we better take it slow. Village was silent, empty. Oh, careful! No cows lowed, no chickens clucked. It was eerie. The villagers had fled from the fleet, taking everything they could. Right, we don't must have heard what the ravens did to civilians. Not a hope they found safety. Right, um, we're just gonna. It's kind of an nice. It's an isometric viewpoint. Uh, so. We're gonna keep along the same, like, left-right, and we're not gonna go... Just agree to disagree? Oh. Said Renato. No. Hello. <laughs> there's, um, there's, there's a thing up there. There's a collectible that's stuck... Oh, no. Is that... No! That's, that's a pitchfork. That's a pitchfork stuck in some hay. I thought it was a collectible that was floating because this was like a demo, so I was like giving it credit for having like at least one goof. Oh, sweet! A gem! <laughs> All he needed now was a workbench, and he could slot it into his gauntlet. Okay. Gems are another mechanic of the game. They're basically little power ups that you can get. Oh, we forgot an ore here. Let's just get this ore. Yeah, there we go. Now we have 11 of them, and don't forget to smash everything in sight like a vandal. That's not what you're supposed to do in a video game. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Ah, good, the camera. Okay, that's where we were. So let's go this way and see what we can find down here. Not much. And here... There's some stuff to smash. I say just, but that's a brilliant thing. Uh, who doesn't love smashing? Smashing stuff. What's over here? Uh, 
Oh, this is where we were, again. Uh, this is That's the one problem with trying to explore everything. You tend to hit the same places over and over again. Um, this is new, though, because we haven't had this chest opened. So, wind and water essences. Interesting. And this is why heroes are called dashing, Renato thought. See? Dashing? Get it? Oh, Reynardo. Odd that they never locked these things. Yes, fair enough, narrator, but at the same time, very convenient. Very convenient. I think that's all that's up there. Um, I got a lot more gems in a previous playthrough by this point. You can jump down to the well from here like into he the well. Ready to learn new things. Thank <laughs> goodness First, you didn't have to go I'm to going school to for that. Get a counter now causes damage. Uh, increase maximum health or run faster. I'm going to give myself the perfect he strike. His old skills. He welcomed them back like it was at a reunion. <laughs> old skills. So something probably in the story causes him to lose some of his skills? Maybe? Uh, anyway. Ooh, ooh, a workbench. Did he have any jewels he hadn't tried out? Increases resistance to physical damage by 20%. Which is very good. Okay. We're done up here. It's over here. Firewalls only let you through if they think you're hot enough. Okay. I'm gonna try to do this, cause I'm not sure. Ooh, what's there? Hmm, what was behind that door? Huh. Granado's nose told him there was treasure there. Let's see. They must have forgotten it in a hurry. Surely they wouldn't mind if he helped himself to it. After all, he wouldn't even know. Bunch of fire essence. Or and these pads will teleport you. Oh, this one teleports you back here. Okay, you see the one in the well actually teleports you... Okay, that apple fell through the floor. Um, but the one in the well actually teleports you beyond where you can go simply by... Um... It teleports you past this gate, basically. It teleports you uh, to a well uh, elsewhere. So, we're gonna go through this one instead, because I'd just rather go through the above ground. Plus, it's not great to show everything to people. You know, otherwise, you know, you might not... Okay, and we're in button mashy mode. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Beat a max combo of 58? Holy crap, I'm awesome. Reynardo is awesome, at the very least, with a result like that. Holy wow. Yeah, see that well there? That is where uh, you'd be left off if you went down the well before the last fight. Um, which is why I didn't go through it, because I wanted to go here. Right, um, okay. Teleporty doohickey here. When Bernardo went to the china shop, for some reason the owner was always nervous. Well, you're a bit bullish, I guess. You seem to be very, um, happy to take other stuff without permission. Ah, uh, treasure hunter. V.O.B.T. gem pickup 15. <laughs> got a line that wasn't in the code. <laughs> devs! Devs! <laughs> we found something! People had laughed at the government workbench placement program, but you could see the benefits everywhere. Said to increase chances of rare loot by one. Yeah, I'll put it in my, um, thing. I mean, we won't have much chance to use it, uh, in this demo. Packs, demo, release, whatever. Oh, 
Sorry, interrupted story time. Caught the lead right hey. now. I will never find out I ended. Oh no. Warlocks, the way they stayed back and lobbed pain and death from a distance. Cowards. Really painless, effective cowards. And there we go. And that was a perfect. I, I'm very happy to say that I have become a lot better at this combat since the last time I... Uh, th th uh, I'm... Hey. Hey. I'm a Firefox. Thought Renato. This is how he's a Firefox. And this is how he heals. Those use the energy bar. That is Renato below your health. Run down his back. To be fair, I don't know if fleas are that prevalent in this form of society. Um, but I'll certainly be wary. As Reynado, um, all health. Huh. Yep, we need the Void Blade for this one. The fact that that's there, although this seems very early in the story, suggests to me that there's probably some form of New Game Plus in the actual game. Which is something I like the sound of. I, al I always like those kind of things where it's, um... Ah, ah. Here we go. Easy peasy. Oh... Wow. I'm sitting at such a weird angle in order to um, still be heard by the microphone. And... Is that Lapino? We're in a church with flowers! This is reminding me of Final Fantasy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What angle is Reynardo running at there? It looks kind of like he's running... <laughs> he's like running up the wall. Um... Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. Huh. The ravens are coming. Oh, the oh. prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats. So we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We... Capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows. And that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and Good own plan. his only daughter. Bad plan. That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Yeah. Um, pay a call on Zenobia. Reynardo and Lapino were back together, but Reynardo still needed a game changer to save the rebellion. Maybe Lapino was right. Maybe they should go kidnap the Emperor's only daughter and greatest general, Zenobia. Extracting intel out of her would turn the tide in the Civil War. The Eye of a Lost God must hold great power. Reynardo and Lapino were back together, uh, even though Reynardo could no longer get the Sky Ripper's armature, its core was still within reach. Maybe he could still harness its power with Lupino's help. See, okay, I like this kind of thing. This is a choice. You can overthink it very much. This is, okay, we went with Lupino. So do we go with what our previous choice tells us to do? Or do we counteract it and go on the path that would have been best getting the other thing. However, remember, if the fact we can't get the armature suggests that the ravens now have it, and do we want them being able to rebuild the Sky Ripper? Should we take the core just so nobody can rebuild it? However, I'm just gonna go with Zenobia. Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in Swordfu school, and you're still mad for her, the rabbit reminded him. They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans, chuckled the Master Spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right, said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. 
And that is Stories, The Path of Destinies. There is a second... second route. It's a lot harder going after the armature. And by harder, I just kind of mean that it's a bit more awkward. Um, it's not as... Uh, it's not as structured. It, it's a bit more freeform. Uh, and a bit of a harder level as a result. For example, the Hero Sword doesn't get upgraded in, until a lot longer into the mission, as opposed to straight away. Um, but yeah, this is a great game, and I think once it does fully come out, you guys should really give it a look, because... Hell, I might even do a series on it. Cause if there's enough interest, I'll do a series on it, because I think it's a really great game. And I think it's something that I would really enjoy playing. Because <laughs> I really enjoyed playing this, which is just a beta test, PAX demo, press, copy thing. And, well, I think, I think it's a good game. Well done, devs. Well done. Uh, all the links and stuff for... Um, for, like, getting the game on Steam... If I know, if I figure out how to do it for PSN, I might. I I, I don't know. Uh, like the devs' Twitter and stuff, I'll try to put that in as well. Uh, so this is Mon Retro Gamer signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. Maybe another game. Maybe this game. We'll see. See you guys then.